couple of myths about tells before we start really getting into, into the, the good stuff. Um, the first myth that I hear all the time, and you'll see that in discussion forums and when I talk to players, is that poker tells are useless. Now, uh, Dan Harrington, who I have a utmost respect for, he, you know, he's a world champion. He did that back-to-back -back final table in 2003 and 2004 of the main event. Um, you know, a tremendous uh, accomplishment. Um, but in his in his uh, book, uh, Harrington on Cash Game, Volume Two, he has a section on tells, and he he, he basically he says that tells are useless. Um, that's basically what he's saying, uh, because you can't. Um, know what a person means, that a gesture means, and, and something he says is that a player shifts in his seat as he plays a hand, is this a tell? Or did he just shift in his seat? Some people move around from time to time. And sure, people move around from time to time. But what the science tells us, and all the, the studies that have been done in the, in the past years, are telling tell us that more and more that every shift, every body movement, every gesture has a meaning. There's something behind that. Now, if if you just you know if you stand up from a table for example you're sitting down and you stand up there are many reasons that what you might do that I mean you might stand up because um, you just want to stretch because you want to go and grab a drink because you saw someone from a distance you want to wave at them or or but also these are legitimate legi legitimate reasons why you're you know standing up but also it might be because you're you're distancing yourself and I'll talk about that. Uh, as part of the flight response later on, but there's other reasons that while well, maybe you're responding to a threat and you're trying to create some distance between you and the threat, that's possible. So to say that um, people move around from time to time, sure, but what I think Dan Harrington is missing, and we'll look at it, other myths that, that, that he talks about, um, is that he's he's almost saying that. He, you know, since he doesn't understand if that's a tell, if he doesn't under, because he doesn't understand uh, what that specific shift means, it's kind of he he kind of discards them, and and that's why I think that's that's the mistake he's making. I think, um, in my opinion, um, the second myth that that we'll hear all the time is that good players don't have tells, um, and that's really not true. I've never seen a player who doesn't have any tells. And if you look at our videos on Tales Kitchen, you'll see, and you'll see in all the videos I'm going to present to you today, you'll see that I, I, I'm featuring, you know, top-notch players. Um, the reason is, well, usually this, the players you see more on television, so I have more tells on them than, you know, random Joe. But also to prove a point that everybody has a tell, even those guys that have ten bracelets. Even those guys have been playing live poker for 30 years. Even those guys that make the most amount of money per year playing poker. Everybody has a tell. Now, the great, the great, the great thing about that is that 99.9% .9 players, uh, percent of players have no clue what they're looking for. And that's why I think that's, for example, like a guy like Dan Harrington makes a mistake. He makes a mistake of thinking that since he's won and accomplish so much and obviously doesn't necessarily pay attention to tells that much then they don't have any use or they're useless right so uh, it, it's it's a mistake to think that uh, because you're having success in something you're lacking you know something else uh, you, you might be lacking you, you're not lacking something else so I mean you, you and I've heard world past world champions say or, uh, that you know Good players don't have tells. They're good at hiding tells, and that you know, um, it's more important to pay attention to, to 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 hand ranges and all that stuff. And and as far as good players don't not having tells, that's total crap. Everybody has a tell. You just have to know what to look for, and most people don't. Um, so myth number three um, is a gesture or, or, or a tell, an expression, real or deception. So Harrington goes on to say, some of your opponents will actively send out false tells. Can you tell the real from the fake? You may have to observe someone for quite a while before you can sort things out. Well, that might be true. However, that's not a reason to discard tells as a whole. Uh, I mean, your, your worst opponents, 
those are really who are really really bad will not send out false tales or if they do it'll be so obvious like the strong mean, means weak acting that you're going to figure that out pretty easily and your best opponents and your toughest opponents will be will might you know have learned to hide their tells more and better but like i said earlier they they do have some it might take you longer to figure them out but that doesn't mean they don't have some because it doesn't mean you should dismiss tell because it's harder to find a tell on a good player it'll be harder too to figure out what his hand range is where his leaks are and all that stuff and when someone's good it'll take you you know a longer time to figure out his game and how you can you can exploit it and so nobody says that you have to you know you're going to learn tells and, and, and spot tells in 15 minutes and then you can totally exploit your opponents. Some of your opponents will take longer to, to see. But, you know, when we play sessions of uh, 15 hours, when we play multi-day tournaments, and if you're on the circuit and playing against the same players over and over again, um, you know, you're going to spend a lot of time with them. So why not, you know, try to find out what their tells are? Um, most likely you'll eventually find them out and you can exploit them after and probably forever. Um, so that's just a, I mean, a statement that I really don't, uh, sure, some people send false tells, and, 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 but, but if you really know what you're looking for, um, you'll, you'll see some discrepancies in the timing um, and, and, and the way that they, they send false tells, um, and you'll be able to know when someone's sending a false tells and when, some, when it's a genuine tell. Number or myth number four is what does it mean? So he, 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 Harrington goes on to say, even if we're we're sure a player is strong because of a tell, it does not tell us how big his hand is. Um, well, that's true um, in the sense that sure, if I see a high confidence tell and that tells me that the opponents has hit the flop pretty big, um, it doesn't tell me exactly what he has. Well, no, but when he pushes all in on the flop. You know, he's basically telling me he's got something, usually. I mean, it could be a bluff, but... Um, and I still don't know exactly what he has. I'm going, you know, on the hand range, right? Uh, if the flop is, is uh, I don't know, um, a queen uh, or maybe a jack, a jack, eight, a deuce, and he pushes all in, you know, a, a player that that has, uh, that had... Um, raised preflop that's pretty tight and all that stuff you know what what could he have jack you know eight deuce well he could have a set uh he could have an over pair you still don't know exactly what he has you're st still not sure that he's he's a he, he's got you know those exactly what hands he has but you know you're pretty sure that he's got a pretty strong hand well it's the same thing with tell it tells you You'll 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 get it. You know, if you have a tell that it tells you that your opponent is strong or that he's bluffing, you know, it's it it can totally help you narrow his his hand range. And if and even if you can't pinpoint to exactly the cards he has, that doesn't mean you have to dismiss tells, you know, as a whole because of that. I mean, it's just you know one more piece of information at your disposal that you can use to to to, to figure out you know what the what he has. Say that same player pushes all in, and you think that, you know, most of the time he's very strong. Sometimes he'll be bluffing. Well, if you pick up that tell that tells you he's strong, then you can disregard the bluffing part, and that gives you a lot more information to play against him. So, so I think the biggest mistake that Dan Harrington makes is that he, he doesn't understand that some people out there know nonverbal behavior more than he does. I'm not saying he's in the sense that because he doesn't see, he doesn't understand that nonverbal behavior exists, that some people uh, can, can teach others about which gesture means something in that circumstance and other, uh, what that gesture means in other situations, he totally disregards the value of tells. And that's why I think that's where the, the mistake is, in my opinion. Um, you can't do that. And that's what most players do. And I hope you don't make that mistake. If, if you're listening to this today, then you probably, um, you know, um, you probably uh, uh, you, 
are interested in that stuff, at least enough to, 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 to want to know more. Uh, so that's good. Uh, and then really, don't make the mistake of, uh, of, of, of dismissing tells because, um, you know, most players out there, even some who are having success, are not good at spotting them. I, I, I've seen, you know, countless videos of a top-notch player playing against an amateur, and the amateur goes all in, displays two or three tells, classic tells of low confidence, that he's totally bluffing, totally giving out the string of his hand, and the top-notch world-class player folds. I've seen this time and time again. So even if the big names of the poker world don't know what they're looking for. So in a good sense, that's a good news for you because you can be, um, you can, you know, you can really get an edge over your opponents in that sense, but also be one of the, the very few that get tells, you know, in general. 